Hey there, internet. So, kind of disappeared for a year there. Gotta tell you, there's nothing, there's nothing like starting a YouTube channel, going into hibernation for a year, you know, happens. Uh, anyway, Dave, we're checking out Hand of Fate. It's an early access game. Really good one, though. I'm usually really skeptical of early access on Steam. So, uh, I'll show you what it's like. Ah. This is one dope. more for the game. Come, Sid. Come have a seat. Just come have a seat. You have passed the thirteen gates. I did. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is weak. Yu-Gi-Oh! We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that it? That's that's why I settle all my life and death. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. Back so Maybe soon. Maybe this didn't look so cool, I would I turn back, but... Falter. Yeah, sorry, I was a little confused there. It's been a while since I played. They patched that opening cutscene in, I guess. The game begins. Anyway, this is... One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Yeah, I'm trying to talk... I'm trying to talk to the... I'm beginning to admire your I am trying to talk to the internet. They are. I would have done things differently. Okay. Anyway, so... This is basically a roguelike, but you'll see you actually kind of get to craft the experience before you jump into you, You'll see what I mean. So anyway, you have like a variety of uh, kind of adventures to go on. Each of these is, uh, each of these things is a boss. This is, actually I haven't checked this, what's this thing? Uh, sorry, Jitter. Oh, and yeah, when you beat a chain of them, you get a big permanent upgrade like that thing. Let's go up. Uh, see if we can take on the Jack of Scales. Uh, There's little left for us. Face the Jack of Scales and be vanquished. And be vanquished? What? Do you, do you have that little faith in me, dude? Okay, anyway. So, you actually get to... Uh, all, all the stuff that happens on each playthrough is determined by the deck that you're playing with, and you get to decide what's in the deck. I can never remember which of these is the deck and which is, like, your hand. Uh, and everything is marked as new, even though I did it before in... before they patched this. Um, what's cool, though? Some of the art's different, too. Uh, Hero for me, let's put that in. All right. Unfortunately, you can't look at the details on a card until you've actually seen it in the game. Which, again, I have before a patch. Not that I've been playing, like, I you know it's early access and stuff, but like I said, this is pretty good for early access. Uh, oh, they changed the design on some of these, too. These were, like, items that you use. Now they have, like, these basically little yellow things at the bottom. Those are how many uses are, no, uses are left in it. Oh, not the thing though. Uh, these sound cool. Put them in. Uh, my shields are too bad. I got plenty of shields. And the berserker armor. And, uh, what hats do I have? Sweet hats. Okay, I know angels make improve your speed. Uh, let's see what the plunderer's cap does. And. Everything in the Jack's domain is slower, but more deadly than you've been accustomed to. Well, joke's on you. I'm not accustomed to anything. I haven't played this game in weeks. Uh, oh, this is not how it was before either. So, kind of the cards form a little map. And you move your dude around. And let's see what's in here. I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. No, I have to press A to reveal it. Not this guy, remember. 
Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human. I love the art for this card. <laughs> Take your time if you like. Shut up, I've waited long enough. Reading to the internet, thank you very much. His voice and face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will counter up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few minutes, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Ask him what he needs. The goblin immediately begins to wander around your person, prodding and poking at your weapons and apparel, before making a sudden grab at something. He then sits considering you for a while before slapping the table with his hand. Ah, I know what you need. I think he took part of my equipment. I think that's what that card going away was. Here, Mr. Lionel pulls out a large empty cloth sack and holds it open for you. Reach in and you will receive your heart's desire. Draw one equipment card. Armor that gives you the proportional strength and power of a barbarian, which you are on closer examination. Oh, oh, I am burned, sir. Yeah, figured that's berserk armor. During combat, every hit you sustain increases your speed and weapon strength. Hopefully, we'll get to see some combat before too long. Uh, okay, yeah, let's equip that stuff. Armor protects you from damage. The best armor, of course, does so much more. Looks good. What is, what, what does it do more than that? Okay, you gotta go back here, and you'll notice in the corner there every move you use uses food. So if you run out of food, it's the, this run is over. Ladder escape. Uh, to continue forward, you must first descend down a ladder and into the unknown. Uh, you have to discover. Oh, this is what the exit to the area is now. Used to just be like a set of stairs. Uh, uh, we're gonna explore just a bit more. I always thought it was best to avoid the problems of others. I see you have no such concerns. I just bumped into this guy. You gave me the card. Dude. There's a token in it for you I if you I win. Oh, yeah, and each token is kind of like a booster pack of cards if you succeed at a quest. You hear a shell from up ahead in the sounds of battle. Racing forward, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. There is a spider next to you, sir. It is huge. And, okay, I have to worry about these now. Okay, cool. Let's see some combat. Broken bones litter the area around the man, but there are still more closing in on him, and he appears badly injured. Stranger! He calls out, and he throws his weapon to you. Here, take my mace and put an end to these monstrosities. Woo! It's a holy mace. Equipment with this trait fear into the trait strikes fear into the cold hearts of the undead. They will sustain more damage and may not be resurrected around such holy re relics. Oh, that's right. Because uh, hmm. undead will keep resurrecting. Really? Use them. Is that what you're going to do? It's holy, dude. <laughs> is this loading? Okay. All right. Cool. Now watch this. This is cool. This is cool. If so. The cards will stack as your stuff shows up. I love it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I think I remember the controls. Kind of. Okay, X, okay, X is hit. X A is dodge. Uh, why is, I am getting a phone call. I will be right back in red. That was your mom! Or sister, if you have one. Hopefully not the same person. Let's... Where were we? We were bashing skeletons. Okay. I didn't expect one thing. I play D&D. &D. I know to use blunt weapons against skeletons. Because that bypasses five damage resistance. Mother... Bonus? That came out slightly better than I wanted. I don't want to curse too much on this show. Good work! Putting them to rest to keep the mace, we have enough back at Kadere. It's the mace capital of the world. And also the other kind of mace. Which is not really useful against skeletons, unfortunately. We've been hearing reports of undead in our kingdom recently, and I came to investigate. He stops to look around at all the bone fragments. More of them here than I suspected. Some new horror must have decided to settle in these parts, and brought its minions. I must head back to the capital and report to the duke. Watch your step friend. Come now, something more powerful. Shut up! You don't have forever. Something more powerful, and you still have a spider. Uh, it's something more powerful at work than just these skeletons. This card's token is not yours. Woo! 
Booster pack! Alright, time to descend. Yeah, let's not risk losing more food. To continue forward, you must descend down the ladder and into the unknown. Go down the ladder. You'll embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Okay, this one's... Do not let your supplies run so short. You are on risky ground. Well, if you gave me some food in some of those cards, maybe I wouldn't be in this situation. Dead Man's Gorge. I think this is just bashing things. Uh, cross the rope, bridges, Dead Man's Gorge, you hear the sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush. Oh no. Two of scales. Lizard men. Here we And apparently, ton of spiders. Oh, God. You ever, you ever, like, move furniture downstairs? Like, like your basement or something? It's just be like, okay, you, you lift it up and you just, like, you know that thing's just, like, made of spiders. Uh, so Jeez, not fire. Not fair. to cockroaches. You recover what you can for the dead. Come on, food. Come on, food. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Yeah, three food. Woo! There's three whole food. Ratman hunting. You stumbled upon a ratman hunting party. Prepare to defend yourself. There's one monster guard. Ooh, four of them. By name and plagued by nature, the rats leave behind a deadly toxin. All right, they I've got rat fever, and the only cure is chasing them in the face. I had a mouse in my arm last week. I call him Jerry. Jerry's probably dead. Bunch of traps. Kind of ironic having the rats poisoning humans. Come to think of it, right now, pretty sure that's actually ironic and not just trying to use words. You sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were another way to stop these plague of rat men. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps. Just like some kind of joke about having exterminators now. It's not a very good joke. Wealth Flip separates it. the highest from the lowest, and that is, in itself, a form of virtue. Okay. Win this and claim my token. A nobleman approaches on a chariot as you walk the streets of Steagle. He notices you and comes to a stop. You there, peasant. I wish to purchase your armor as a gift for my nephew. He is a similar build and enjoys a good scuffle on occasion. Uh... Sure, why not? The woman waits patiently to take off your armor and then hand it to him. You weren't wearing anything underneath. It was really awkward for everybody, but he was like, Oh, God, all right, fine. Uh, God, just here, have some money. Jeez. It draws you four gold game cards. This is a lot more money than I remember getting earlier in the beta. As you can see, this is beta EA 1.514526, in case anyone asks and can't read. Okay, good. This is a shop. And the traveling bird is going to train hunters. Priests have some skill in tending wounds, but they excel at removing curses for a price, of course. Where's the shop? Mm, yeah, I could use healing. Yeah, you'll notice the health. Uh, it stays between battle, but it does recover by five each time you move. Heal my wounds. Ten for eight dollars, or fifteen for ten dollars, how can I turn down a sale like that? 
Give it to me. More health to work with. Much good meat, do you? Uh, oh, you get my blessings. Uh, whenever the player eats food, they get interesting healing. Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. Whenever the player is struck by a ranged attack, there is a chance that the attacker will be stunned for three seconds. That makes no sense. Any hit on the player during combat has a chance to poison the attack. Um, hmm. Oh my god, I'm like way out of food. Let's buy some food. Let's buy all the food. Yes, I would like five food, sir. Thank you. Make that ten food. Ten whole food. find some equipment. Okay. Up we go. Or down we go, depending on your perspective. Roaming oh, ever what? forward. Oh, Hunting there's different the kinds of escape. So what, was that just like a ladder to another area with like no... How did I take a look? Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to think about it. This stuff always just... You walk on the next leg of your adventure. It's really weird that we call them legs. Everybody think about that. It's like, can I go on a foot of my adventure? Oh, oh, oh! So often, is it a leg because? Ends, yeah. Is it not? The hero tries. The hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. Okay, since I was so rudely interrupted, is a leg of an adventure like multiple feet, like distance feet of an adventure? Is that, is that, or, no. Wait, why do I think of, they just don't look like, my brain's not working. But a feet, a, feet, a foot is like part of a leg, so multiple, the, the, the leg is broken up into, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> We pass the funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. The great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wandermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Take the hero's belongings. I will totally take these back. I, I, I probably will totally take these back, because I'll get a token if I do this well. Thank you. This means the world is to his family. The town would have revolted had these artifacts not been returned. It's not too far from the hero's own town. Look for the town cleric. Take there. your feelings and turn them into power. Uh, impact left button on the trigger. Oh, press LB. I think it means press LB. Yeah, it had like it has like indicators before. It doesn't have them now. It has like the coding for it. Uh, yeah, we'll switch that out. Uh, pain. The shield bash deals damage to the opponent. Damage increases as you go up in combo tiers. And hurry, it's not wise to anger the spirits of the dead, but delay the fight. Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantage. Player loses 50% max up. Oh god. Oh god. Let's get going. Let's get going. Uh, ready to continue. Uh, here's a turn. Uh, uh, um, so it's over there. Uh, okay, let's... Stay on the safe side. More ratmen. Okay, yeah, we already know. There's rats. I bet oh. you're thrilled oh, to see Jack again. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, the Jack of Plague here was like the first boss, like the first or second boss, and I have to fight six other guys besides him. So, holy cow. Uh, oh, oh, god, and he comes with a posse. Great. Great. Oh, the puzzle's over there. Uh, I can't. I can't. There's too many rats. There's too many goddamn rats. Okay. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Stabby, 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 stabby. Whoa! Nice.
death, familiar, impermanent. My peace takes yours, and the battle is ended. Try again. Okay, well... You know, you were all like, oh, I said you turn back and stuff at the beginning. You're not really giving me a lot of consequences when I mess up. You, le you let me keep your tokens and everything. So that was a booster pack. Oh, sweet. Maybe I got something to fill up my black deck. Uh, mace and a mace. Woohoo. Yay. He said there were he said there were plenty of maces in that one place, I guess this is where I got it. Uh turning with noblemen, you receive. The lovers. It's like an actual tarot card, but I doubt that was a good one. like a right weapon to grab an account. No! That sounds like no, I like doing it on my own. Uh, okay, well thank you for joining me, Internet. Uh, I'm gonna try to be a bit more doing these videos. Consistently. See ya.